all right so what is going on today youtube we are back again with the replays of the week now i do want to get on get into these replays rather fast because this is a lot of replays so <clears throat> like always if you guys do enjoy this video leave a leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe and if you have not already go ahead and click one of them ads to help support the channel so let's go ahead and start off as you can see i'm playing vindred zombies because man this card is so fucking good for the deck i, I really enjoy it and as you can see i'm playing against light swords and look here look look, look at this this look, look, actually did he finish his meal look so starts off first turn right already has what one two three four five six seven eight he already has eight light swords <clears throat> what, what what can i do there's nothing really I can do. He has a Judgment Dragon in his hand, so I'm like, fuck. He already started off good, but uh, thanks to Re Revendred or <clears throat> Origin, I can get some shit in the graveyard, and I can actually possibly go for game, but I fucked up right here. I end up uh, summoning Scarlet. I mean, start as Charge Warrior too quickly. I was supposed to Scarlet first and then go into Charge Warrior because Charge Warrior can attack, um, you know, it can, it can attack every special summon monster, but just think about it. That was an extra 2,000 on the board, so I would have left him with 3,100 meaning that judgment dragon is only going to be able to play three times so <clears throat> that actually would have saved me in case that did happen so as you see he dropped a judgment dragon um then he goes into uh double lumina into a uh raiden and he mills fellas with la i think the last card goes minerva mills one to draw one i'm like all right all right let let's see what he mills he mills another necro gardener so now i gotta deal with that uh new scarlight again and look what he mills two <laughs> Mills the trap and he mills the lights warrant to uh what's the name? Uh pop two of my cards, but I get to banish Revendred Origin. So I can uh Revendred Origin. There you go. Um so we can uh definitely protect Slayer, but like I say, can't really do nothing with that. And here, like I said, look that extra two thousand, he wouldn't have been able to do all this. Uh the extra two thousand actually would have came in handy, but I can't complain. Uh, he dropped the Judgment Dragon. Nothing really too much I can do. Ends up milling another wolf in here. A top deck unit zombie, which is the greatest top deck of life. And as you can, as you guys already know, this is going for game here. Uh, going to Shogun Saga. Go ahead and pop activate. Uh, what's the name? Re Re Revenge Red Origin. And go ahead and attack for game. So now we're going to do a switch over to Link. Uh, so, uh, the Link uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. The Link version of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. So we can get some good old replays from there. And all right, back to the link format of uh, what's the name? The link version of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. And, and this right here, guys, this this whole duel is why I hate OCG. As you can see, he already has double maxi. So right here, I'm thinking, ooh, this is some saucy ass plays. We can do a bunch. Gets maxi. You know what? I'm not tripping. We can summon this because if this gets destroyed by a card effect, it comes right on back. So I'm not tripping. So I end up summoning uh, just you know just end of my turn with those two. It felt like it was a good board. Like I said, I could have did a shit ton of damage actually could have beat him because i could have just you know mizuki when shogun saga banished uh summon this again and then normal summon something in the tactical game that's how good this goddamn card is but <clears throat> sadly we got maxi did not really want to overextend and then look, look what he draws he draws into the wind witch and then look, look at this you see this card it's just stupid like i'm supposed to deal with a crystal wing maxi triple solemn like what, what else could i do so he ends up attacking my revan dread slayer Banish the origin because I'm figured, you know what? I can still get around this. Top deck Gozuki, which is a very good card. And then I get maxied again. And I'm like, God damn, what else do I gotta do to get over him? Go into my own Crystal Wing. That gets Solemn Striked. Go into a Coral Dragon. That gets Solemn Striked. And I'm like, damn, Gozuki gets negated. And there's really nothing I can do. So I just have to end my turn here. So here he goes, summons the Eidolon, go ahead and gets the search. And this is what I'm glad that, you know, Link Summit, this is the only thing I'm good, uh, glad about with Link Summit is that the fact that you only control one uh, extra deck monster unless you do play a Link monster. So his Crystal Wing is pretty much give, giving me the blues. And then finally, when I think that I can come back and finally win, you know what? He fucking flips Solemn Judgment. And here I'm like, God damn why why can, can we please get a, a tcg version of Yu-Gi-Oh pro with links please because this is this is too much for somebody to deal with i don't even know how the ocg deals with it then he activated another rudra look at his hand folks look at his hand he has harpy's feather duster for any back row he has double ghost ogre for anything he has another ash blossom i mean he has an ash blossom to get over any searching effect so i try to go black rose 
I'm just trying to get something to get negated. Activate the young, um, what's the name? Activate the young spectral sword. I'm like, God damn, I need protection. He summons this, burns me for 500. So I'm thinking, all right, there's this, this game is over. But he makes a crucial mistake, leaving that in attack mode. And I just summon my samurai. And I'm like, God damn, I'm so glad I won that duel. But Jesus Christ, how do anybody, I, I don't understand how the OC, I don't know, I understand how y'all play in the OCG. This shit is ridiculous. They even have double BLS. This, this, this meta is dumb. Please, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, whoever is making this, please make it to TCG only because we, I need it. Because this is, I'm not, I can't take too more, too much more of a, a solemn judgment. Harpy's Feather Duster and Triple Max Double. Uh, this is just horrible. Please, man, please. And then now, so we're gonna get into some actual, uh, you know, back and forth tool. But once again, look, I it it, it forced me to play this. Like you guys know. I don't really play hand traps in any one of my decks, but the amount of ma the amount of times I get max seed all you know through through a daily basis, it's just it's necessary to play that. So <clears throat> as you can see, it ran straight into a torrential, but we're still doing good because hey, we top deck uh, fullest burial get ghost there. So I was gonna strike it, but I was like nah, you know we can just summon the samurai and just sit decent right now. So here he goes, he top decks at Rota, which is good for him because he thinks that he was gonna actually get off some plays. But no, 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 Ash Blossom is a zombie, so we get to use it with Samurai. And right here is a reason why Revenge Red Slayer is just so goddamn good, is because we can push for game with the easiest of boards. And that's what we're gonna do here, folks. Gonna attack, and he has a Gaga -ga -ga Gardener, so saving that strike was the clutchest thing in this duel. Ends up winning because, as you know, Scarlight Burns for a extra 500 so i just went to activate this just for no reason and bam that is the end of the duel right there and here we go going up against some type of wind deck i don't know what's going on but he foolishes with a dandelion and then he summons this man right here uh ends up banishing the top four cards of my deck and i'm like damn what can i do but i do have this twin twister and i do have a unizombie and you guys know where this is going because i do uh have the pre-prep so bam, bam, go into that, use Revenge Red, he's gonna get that back, but you know what, that does not matter because the, the re Origin is so goddamn good. Origin is so good, it's not even funny. And an added boost effect of getting this to, uh, to banish spells and traps, that's so good, and you know, what can he do? He can't really do anything, he's facing Omega, he's facing a or he's facing a Slayer, he's facing a Unizombie he has to kill, and he doesn't have too much in his hand, so we end up winning that one. And here we go again, and this is a fairly, I believe, long duel. And as you can see, I didn't open up the greatest of hands. I easily could have uh, pre-prepped, but I said no. And then look, he just has the Twin Twister. So I, if I set one, I get Galaxy Cyclone. Uh, and it, no, not Galaxy, Cosmic Cyclone. And if I set two, I get Twin Twister. But you know what? It's okay. I top decked a Twin Twister on my own. I'm like, you know what? I was going to attack into it, but they do get bonus effects. So <clears throat> he ends up... I end up just letting it live because I was like, nah, I'm not going to give it to him. He ends up going to Deco Talker, which was a weird play, I guess. I don't understand why he did it, but hey, hey man, that's not me. That's him. So top deck, another Revenge Slayer. And I'm like, damn, what the hell can I do with this? It's not really too much. But when this dies, we can definitely get some effects. And he summons a Gamma Seal. So I'm like, all right, he's going to just put them things on me. Nope. He just leaves me with what's the name? 4,500. I top deck a Foolish. And you already know we do already have a Mizuki from earlier. And you guys can already know where this is going. And this is this is why Origin is just so good in this deck. Watch watch what happened here, folks. Um, go ahead and get this back. And, and, and it's crucial to activate the Smith because you can dodge. Um, you can dodge certain effects that try to negate the Young Sage. And bam, this is why Revenge Slayer is so good. Look at this. Bam. They, I don't know. Uh, they didn't give me a chance to activate that. But look at that. Look at look. You can easily do this with one, what's the name? With one uh, two-star tuner. You can definitely get this on the board. So, yeah. We can get another one. And here we are playing some Spirals. And guys, this, this is why um, Spirals are retarded. This, go ahead and take a marvelous look at what's going to go down. This is Machine Dupe Quick Fix. And this is why I'm saying Machine Dupe may get limited. Quick Fix may go to two. May go. To, now I don't think it's gonna go to one, but it may go to two. It definitely may go to two. Um, just to just to limit the effect of it. Maybe even Resort maybe going to one or two. They did do it with Dragons Revenge. So look, look at this, guys. Look, look look where I'm at. Look look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. Look at that. How many cards? That's seven in hand, five on the board. That's already twelve. Search another one. 
Jesus Christ. What is that now? Look, I'm just using brand. Look, I could use that. I could have dropped double sleeper. Uh, <laughs> I could have dropped double sleeper. It's protected. I got back row for days. Uh, it's just now. And we're going to get another spot <laughs> replay. It's pretty much the same thing. All you need is machine dupe and quick fix. And he's actually going to let me play it out here. But man, I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, oh, I didn't know he had a Medion. Holy shit. He actually could have beat me if he summoned Medion. He did not summon Medion. So um, <laughs> I don't know why he didn't. But as you can see, man, machine dupe and quick fix is just, it's just stupid. And now like you can go to this to protect your cards. Um, like I said, you can go double sleeper. It's not really a problem. Go princess, right? Hit a solemn warning. So now I got a solemn warning to protect stuff. Um, it's just, it's just sick. You can, you can literally do whatever you want, folks. You can literally do whatever you want. This is this all off of just a machine do quick fix. Don't really need to targeting. Only need to protect that. He ends up dropping montage dragon, which I don't understand why he didn't summon Medion. But like I said, we had definitely counters to that. So it really didn't matter if he dropped it or not. But as you see, spirals are just but and for the last duel of the day as you can see i'm playing some more vendred's lair i mean vendred's revendred zombies wow those are hard to say but <clears throat> open up with the patent combo patented combo you can bam go ahead and get the smith uh go ahead and get a search for the sheer new trap and we get an omega on the board uh this is just fantastic with a ghost ash i feel like we're just not going to lose this game it starts off with a dragon shrine so i end up using the omega in phase he uh does that i chain my ghost ash then i use this to pop those two banish the two because i do have a burial in hand revenge red slayer once again can put up massive damage and as you can see here we go we're going to start off with this massive this is what this card allows it allows so much plays it's ridiculous so go ahead and get the spectral sword out and as you can see with the gozuki that's even better going to the shogun saga shogun saga can banish the other one this gets another search send something and you guys already know this is it so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy those replays I had a lot of fun making them if you guys do want to send some replays in the email is in the description below let me know if you guys do uh i mean not let me know but go ahead and send those in so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next week